How to conclude a speech. The last moments are where a good speech can be made. If you want to leave your audience stunned, you can learn the basics needs of a good conclusion, as well as some tactics for ending creatively. You can also learn what techniques to avoid. Concluding your speech. Summarize the main points you made throughout the speech. The most important thing for a conclusion to accomplish is to remind the listeners of what they should have learned throughout the speech. If the introduction tells the audience what they will learn, and the body tells the audience the content they should be learning, the conclusion should repeat those main ideas one final time. Use the chance to repeat your thesis a final time, if necessary. What's the one thing you hope someone remembers from your speech? What's the one thing that needs to be learned? In informal speeches, repeating the main points won't be necessary. If you're giving a toast at a wedding, you don't need to run back through a list of the great things about the groom. Bookend your speech. In some cases, the conclusion might recall the introduction, helping to illustrate that the speech has come full circle. If you used an example or a specific case study reference in your introduction, then you can return to that example in your conclusion. This can be an excellent way of bookending the speech and keeping people interested. If you started the speech by drawing a sad portrait of a recently returned veteran who couldn't get work, or health insurance, and ended up in dire straits, that can be a heartbreaking intro. Pick back up with the story in conclusion to let you know where that vet is now. Any kind of reference can work. If you started a speech with a quote by Thomas Paine, end with more about Thomas Paine. The bookend technique is an excellent way of signaling the end for the audience. Make the topic seem important. The speech should do a lot to present a case and lots of details to your audience, but the conclusion can be a great opportunity to make those points important. Depending on the nature of your speech, if you've just presented a lot of complex details about climate change, the ending might be an appropriate time to introduce your first case study, or personal example that will help to drive home the facts that you've just presented. Make it real for your audience. Put a face on things. Case studies and personal examples are extremely effective in helping an audience connect with a complicated issue or topic. Some people like to use this technique for the introduction, but it can be unexpected and even more effective to wait and use it at the conclusion, especially for speeches that are a little bit shorter. Use a signal phrase from your title. If you've written a speech with an eye-catching title, use that as an opportunity to signal that you're coming to the end by repeating it, or explaining it, or even just using it in the language of the speech naturally. People will perk up when they hear the title automatically, because it will seem important. This can happen at any time during the speech, but it's perhaps most effective at the end. We can turn back the oceans and stop the warming of our planet. It's not too late, as the title of my speech promises. It's not too late for any of us. Don't be afraid of using the phrase in conclusion. Lots of people overthink the conclusion. You don't need to outsmart it. If you're nearing the ending, don't be afraid to say so, and use the phrase in conclusion to signal that you're getting close to the close of your speech. It's one sure way to let people know that you're almost done, and then should be perking up for your final points. Thank the audience to signal the ending. One nice transitional move to signal that you're coming to the close of an informal address or toast is to thank the audience for listening and participating in the proceedings. This can be a good way to transition into your final paragraph, or into the last point that you want to make. The audience will tend to sit up a little when they realize the end is in sight. It's also appropriate to use a thank you as the very last thing that you say. We must continue fighting the good fight on climate change, for our children, for our economy, and for ourselves. Thank you. Cue applause. Sometimes, it's also appropriate to ask for questions if the occasion calls for it. People should be sure your speech is over, but if people seem hesitant, it's okay to say, I'd be happy to take questions, if anyone has them. 